Okay, today we're down at Canada Bay in Sydney, beautiful part to go running. And we're going to show you today a little tip about running after you've had a disc bulge or disc pain. Um, we're going to use Sandra, my wife, who's taking the video today. She's going to be our little subject. Um, big things I want you to think about is when you are running with disc pain or you get pain in your discs or in your lower back after you've been running, it's usually because one, your core is not working very well. A lot of people's core stability, like their pelvic floor and their transverse abdominis, are not supporting the spine well enough. So there's, when they run, there's a lot of shearing movement going on. So the spine gets sheared back and forth, and after the run, they start getting pain, usually that night and that day. So that's number one. The second thing that tends to happen is they're not using their legs well enough. So when they run, they're a bit cautious. And you'll see in the next video, what happens is when when Sandra's running, what tends to happen is when she plants her leg, she tends to just swing through the hip and not bend the knee. Okay, so when she comes through, she just swings through. It makes you really tight and hip flex it. Puts a lot of shear force, a lot of pulling on the pelvis, which can just, with those discs, gets really grumpy. So when you see the video, what I want you to make sure of is you actually, when you're coming through, you're actually bending the knee up. Okay, so you've got to really use those hamstrings. Start working on getting those hamstrings working on the pelvis and you've got to make sure that that pelvic floor is switched on onto about that 30% control so you're when you're running you're nice and stable so check out the next video and you'll see the before and after okay this is uh this is my wife and she's had two dumb disc lumbar lumbar disc bulges and we're showing you how she normally runs how if you can see she's not moving her knees too much she's not bending at the knees so she's not using her hamstrings very well, which means she's not going to stabilize at her pelvis. And if you notice, she's doing a lot of vertical load, like she's going up and down and up and down, which is a lot of, if you imagine, like a lot of compression on the discs. And this is where she gets her back pain from running. Um, so if we try and get her increasing her pace a little bit, bending her knees a bit more, you'll see she glides a little bit better. She's a lot more stable. A lot less vertical movement and she tilts forward a tiny fraction at the waist she'll get that lean forward runner's posture once she goes faster it's less taxing on the joints and she'll have a lot less pain afterwards thank you very much the button